Yeah. All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahushai, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well, and salutations to the Akim around the world that push the truth in sincerity. I'd like to do a touch a short topic here, which is Romans 12, verse 1 and 2, right? Because this is actually a very important topic. Any man at any truth is supposed to know how important this is. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, and say, Holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Now, the Most High don't accept blood sacrifices anymore through the Messiah, as he took that away. When he died and when he died for our sins but sacrifice on the whole is something very important to the most high because even though we don't do burnt sacrifices anymore you're supposed to sacrifice yourself when it pertains to this word you're supposed to sacrifice things that you would like in the world to be able to do what the most high delight in it's supposed to be a personal sacrifice unto him now you look up the word sacrifice. It says sacrifice. It says the person, animal, or thing so offered. Say example three. It says the surrender or destruction of something prized or desirable for the sake of something considered as having a higher or more pressing claim. So sacrifice pertains. For example, it pertains to giving up something to achieve something better, which is what we try we're supposed to be trying to do right now. Because this body don't profit anything. But we know that wait is we going on what we're going on get back from that sacrifice afterwards a hundred times better. So if a man really thinks spiritual, he would understand that sacrificing these bodies come like nothing. But Jake's <laughs> Even from the start, Jake's, Jake's was wicked. Even Jake's in the truth sometimes was find it hard to sacrifice little things that they know that the Mosai would recompense them 400 times over. <coughs> if you even watch Heathen, Heathen Nations, you will see that they just, they just sacrifice the children, they just blow up the self in, build, in buildings, they just find it they doesn't find it difficult to sacrifice themselves or what they have to heathen gods. So much less for men of the Mosai who know that they have the true power. You shouldn't find it hard to sacrifice things either, knowing that the Mosai is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Even even back in the days it was no different. If a man to sacrifice unto the most high, he has always find a problem. But when they had to sacrifice the idols in the past, it was much easier. It said in 1 Maccabees 1, I'll start from 11 to say, In those days, when they out of Israel wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are wronged about us. For since we departed from them, we have we have had much sorrow. It says, so this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king, who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. It says, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the custom of the heathen, and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and was sold to do mischief so when it was to actually sell out and go to the heathen nations and sacrifice unto idol gods that was joyful to do so but if you had to come and tell a man simple in these modern times to so just Give up this and give up that because it is pleasing to the Mosai. 
it is a, it is be a problem and men like that know the Mosai is real they know his power is real and they know that he reward them for the sacrifice but it's so it's just so wicked in Jake's spirit to just be so rebellious against the Mosai that being a sacrifice this be the hardest thing for them they prefer to be a sac they prefer to sacrifice onto idols than to sacrifice onto the Mosai himself even if you watch them in modern times is the same thing when you see pictures of people like the Haitians who have sacrificed onto idols and idol gods see men could do wicked things like this and that easier for them than to keep the law, statutes and commandments so it's to show you how serious sacrifices and how difficult it is for a man if he's not righteous within himself. See the Revelation, um, Romans 12, verse 2, it says, And be not conformed to this will. Because that is be our next issue when it comes to sacrifice. If you conform to the things of this will, you just find it hard to give it up. You just find it hard to sacrifice. That way scripture say, Be not conformed to this will. They say, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Mosai. Because his will is for you to do what it is he wants you to do. And most of the time that has given up stuff that you might delight in because of the wrong. So this example of exactly how important sacrifice is. And it's something that the Mosai delight very much in. It's not something to take for granted. And it's not something to look at on a minor level. So with that, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And salutations to the Akim around the world that pushes truth and sincerity. Inshallah.